Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, JC, and welcome back to my channel once again. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to upgrade the KT-4 the correct way. There's a bunch of people who have upgraded this Wonder Weapon, but are missing a very, very major step that you have to do. So let's get started. I'm not going to be telling you guys how to build the normal KT-4. I have a separate video on that if you want to go see that, if you haven't figured out how to do that yet. But this is strictly how to upgrade it. So you already have the KT-4 in your hands, and you're wondering how you can upgrade it. Well, to upgrade it, you're going to have to actually get three new parts which actually don't show up in your inventory so you're just gonna have to remember which ones you've gotten and we'll go ahead and start off with the easiest one the first part you're gonna have to get is from the giant spider on the map this place which is behind the spider area of the map is accessible from using the normal KT4 and when you go into this area and fight this spider boss you normally do this to get widow's wine most of you guys probably already know how to do that but if you don't you can go check out my video on that matter as well however getting back into it the first first part that you need for the upgraded wonder weapon is by killing the spider itself, the giant spider boss. Once you kill the giant spider, go up to its dead body and hold X. And you should hear a quote from one of your characters confirming that you've gotten the part. Hey look, I've got a... something. Alright, so now we're moving on to part two. For the second part, you're going to need to have an electric shield. To get the electric shield, you're going to have to complete every single challenge that was given to you from the start of the game. If you don't know what that means, basically in this area, there is a pillar for each player in the game. Each player has three different challenges that are randomly selected to them that they have to face and complete. If you look at your symbols, the pillar with the yellow ones, the game tells you the details of each challenge that you need to complete. It's pretty self-explanatory. Now the catch is, to get the electric shield, all players in the game have to complete all of their challenges. So one person can't just complete all of theirs. Every single person has to complete all of their challenges. Once everybody in the game has completed their challenges, make sure everyone collects all of their rewards from these pillars. Once all of the rewards are collected, you'll hear thunder and random strikes of lightning will hit this pillar area. All you have to do to get the electric shield is pull out your shield in the area when the lightning strike hits. If you miss the first strike, don't worry, it comes back in a couple minutes or so and it constantly does so, so you can constantly do this more and more if you need to. And you know you've done it correctly when you see that your shield has electricity on the front of it. Having an electric shield can do a number of things. It can actually help you reduce the price of items if you bang into, say, a perk machine or a trap. But in this instance, we have to have it for the second upgrade part. Take your electric shield and go inside lab B on the map. Once there, you want to use your electric shield on the empty cage switch, which will cause it to open. From there, you can now go inside the cage yourself and have a teammate lower the cage by pressing the button. Once you're finally lowered underground, you'll see a skeleton holding divinium of some kind. Pick that up, that is your second piece for the upgraded wonder weapon. Oh, and also make sure your teammate lifts you back up. All right, so we've gotten two parts, one more to go. This is the part that everyone's been stuck on because all the guides on YouTube are pretty much wrong and they're missing a step. For this step, you're gonna have to have the skull of non -Sopwe. If you don't know how to get that, I have a video on my channel once again about how to get that skull of non -Sopwe. It's pretty easy. If you played the map a bunch, you probably already know how to get it. But anyways, once you have the skull of non -Sopwe, go down here to the cocoon area in the bunker this is the living quarters area and basically you're just gonna want to look around and try to mesmerize a wall I didn't do it myself in the game because Lex is the one who found it out in the game and we were trying to figure out what to do because everyone was stuck on the step but we found that if you mesmerize the wall in this area it will reveal this poster right here apparently this poster right here is giving you a clue to where the last piece is you have to do this poster step you have to you can't skip it that's the problem everyone's been doing they've been skipping this step okay so as of now since you've done that you're gonna need some rainbow water that's what me and Lex call it a lot of people are calling it oil but I call it rainbow water because that's what it looks like to get rainbow water you're gonna have to use the sewer system from the inside going to outside so use it from inside the bunker and go out as you're traveling really fast through the sewer system, you'll notice a bluish rock on your way there. You have to make sure and time it right and press square or X if you're on Xbox when you are close to this rock. It's really easy to see even though you're going really fast through it, but once you get that, you now have the rainbow water. Now, this is the crazy part. You're going to have to go back into the bunker, go into the operation room now where all that water is that you can go into. The original place that you found the plant for the wonder weapon, you're going to want to go all the way down like you did before and then mesmerize the wall to your right. This will open up a secret chamber where you can plant a seed and water the plant with your rainbow water to grow the last part. 
Be careful though, because you are underwater, you're losing air very, very fast, and keep in mind that the plant isn't done until you've watered it three times, which means you're gonna have to play probably three rounds and keep going back over and over to water this plant. Once you've grown this plant fully, that's it. You've gotten the new plant piece for the upgraded wonder weapon, the final part. Now take all the parts you've gotten to the station that's right next to the original wonder weapon station. You'll see it, it's a second one. It looks almost identical to the first wonder weapon station inside the bunker and put all of your ingredients there and then put your weapon on that station as well. It will then craft your weapon into the upgraded KT-4. And there you go, that's it. That's the correct way as far as I know on how to upgrade this wonder weapon. Now I didn't do the poster step myself, but that's the step that seems everyone is missing when it comes to this wonder weapon upgrade. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Use the new Masamune to your advantage and kill all the zombies to your absolute fullest. This has been JC and I will see you guys on the next video. Have a good one.